our magnetosphere and, into, and coming in to expose our Earth in, in his... Uh, Let's put it this way: It's up by fifty to thirty to fifty percent over what it was previous to two thousand and six. That's scary. Before we talk about your Magnetico sleep pad and all of the benefits with health and the body, I wanted to ask you: Seven years after our first interview, we know way more information about what's happening on the Earth with the Sun, with the Moon. What is your greatest concern, knowing what you know right now? Well, it's just exactly what we're talking about here. 2012 is a year of a very high uh, coronal mass ejection. We call it sun flares. And this is going to have a devastating effect on our magnetosphere and our ozone layer. So uh, we're very fortunate in North America uh, because we have actually a, the strongest magnetic field on, this, on the Atlantic side of the Earth. But the South America is going to be, uh, let's put it this way, devastated with the um, increased gamma radiation and lack of magnetic field. On our research with mice, we found that when we get down to just 20% of our present magnetic field, which is very weak, we actually, which would cause a reversal, the uh, mice went into slow motion and began to die. So we can't stand a reversed magnetic field for long periods of time. For short periods of time, your brain puts out a strong enough electromagnetic field to keep the body uh, going. But when you get down uh, over a longer period of time, when we're talking about 24 hours, then we have some very devastating effects. Now, fortunately, the Earth turns, and, and so we have a, a bit more magnetic field at night than we do at the daytime when the sun's magnetic field is pushing ours back in the Earth. So uh, but there's going to be a great impact on health during next year uh, when we have a very strong sun magnetic field coming uh, against our earth magnetic field, pushing it back into the, into the earth. Now, it's likely that most of the world will never have this magnetico sleep pad. So what are most people going to do, Dean? Well, they're just going to get sick. And they, that's the, uh, actually, uh, I predict that the siesta will come into vogue next year to a great extent because people during the middle of the day when they're going to be most vulnerable are going to take a rest. And that would be a very good idea. They'll find that that, that is the best way to counteract the lack of magnetic field. And that's in any hemisphere? Uh, any hemisphere, the southern hemisphere especially, northern hemisphere not as much, but we will somewhat be affected too. Now, what we've learned since I talked to you last, that we, what we suspected all along, remember we talked about anti-aging and, uh, by enhancing the earth magnetic field? By enhancing the earth magnetic field by 10 times, we showed that insects live 10 times longer and that human tissue cultures live 10 times pardon me, live two and a half times longer, and mice live two and a half times longer. So you can actually enhance life span by increasing the magnetic field, or you can reduce it and shorten lifespan. So we have this factor to look at. Now, knowing that, we figured it must be free radicals because free radicals are what cause aging. These are uh, incomplete combustion prod uh, products that are made in the body because you don't have enough energy to make the chemical reactions go to completion. And it also is other uh, environmental toxins. They're all free radicals too. So these things are continually uh, bombarding the body. Now, we found in another independent study done by Dr. Norm Sheely that actually people sleeping on the magnetic pad the night before build up their electromagnetic field of their body to the point where they had 80% less free radicals even at 3 o'clock in the afternoon after sleeping on the magnetic pad the night before. You see, so... Uh, when the earth magnetic field runs down, we don't get the recharging at night that we need, and most people don't get enough sleep. So if you sleep on the magnetic pad, then you recharge faster, and so you're running with a stronger electromagnetic field coming from the brain. We call this vitality. It's the same thing as vitality. 
And when you have a stronger uh, electromagnetic field coming uh, from the brain to the body, well, then you can withstand lower magnetic fields during the day and more stress during the day and less free radicals, which age you. And isn't it true that being bombarded with X-rays and gamma rays would increase your free radical damage of your body a hundredfold? Dramatically. Matter of fact, uh, I'll tell you how how important this thing is next year. The NASA scientists and other space scientists are saying now that we're going to be subjected to massive brownouts and blackouts, and we're going to have... uh, Major problems with telecommunication, knocking out the uh, satellite telecommunications. This is next year. That's what they're predicting. Uh, so I'm just parroting what they're saying. I uh, am not, uh, let's put it this way, I can't foretell the future, and nobody knows, but they're just looking at what happened on April this year at, on things actually on Valentine's Day in China, and we had just a little sun flare then, and it knocked out all telecommunication in in all of China for one whole day. So uh, they're looking at these evidences and are predicting some pretty dramatic things for next year. And you can imagine with brownouts and no air conditioning working, it's not going to be much fun. You know, I always try to be dispassionate when I'm listening for data, and yet I'm passionate about being discerning. I totally get what you're saying about NASA's reports. The only problem I have with NASA is they lie about a lot of things, too. In terms of the factual things that can be verified, I'm all for it. But my question to you next is, Nikon first developed their version of a magnetic bed. What makes yours different? Magnetic pads, yeah. Correct. In Japan, Japan Life and and Nikon started around the same time, and that's about 25 years ago, 30 years ago almost. And what they did, because they understood that, because from Chinese from <laughs> for the thousand years used little tiny shower curtain magnets to take and do acupuncture on the body. And I knew this from a class I'd taken from a Chinese MD back in 1964. And so they were using these little tiny magnets all over a magnetic pad and doing acupuncture all night long, every night. And they were getting a lot of relief of pain because acupuncture does work by increasing electrical flow and blood flow to the area where the magnet is. And so if you had it all over the body, well, then you get rid of a lot of aches and pains in a hurry. And it was effective, but they broke the rules of acupuncture because the rules of acupuncture say that one treatment a week is all you should be giving or you'll deplete the chi, which is the vitality or the ability of the brain to put out a higher electrical uh, flow to the area of the body wherever the magnets are. So it's that increased electrical and blood flow that takes away the pain. And when you deplete the, deplete the electrical flow, well, then you're back in where you started. And a matter of fact, in the study at the University of Alberta where I first became aware of this, they were treating asthma, and the people better at first, and they thought it was wonderful. And then uh, three months later, they no longer had the benefits. As a matter of fact, they were getting worse than they were to begin with, and they wanted to know why. And that's, they had us measure the magnets because they thought they'd run down or something, and I knew from looking at their device that actually all they were doing is doing acupuncture, and you can't do that every day. So I told them what they were doing, and they stopped the whole project. So from there, I went and thought, well, we better check and see if putting a magnet on the body actually does the same thing as the acupuncture needle. And we could measure that with our equipment, the increased electrical flow and the increased blood flow. And so we knew that Chinese, Chinese had been right for thousands of years. So then we said, well, the Earth's magnetic field doesn't do that. 
So why don't we make an Earth-type magnetic bed that has the magnetic field coming out of the sky in the northern hemisphere and into the Earth? And so it's a one direction of magnetic field. And so that's how we made the first magnetic bed that actually was not bipolar. In other words, uh, we had to put a lot more magnets and block magnets in, put them close enough together so it acted like one big magnet. So you had the magnetic field going one way through the body and not a reversing field.